damn good as we have a oh, lot of oh, TP. Oh, Nisha. Nisha. He's gonna get Nisha, spotted. Nisha. He's gonna get spotted here as Mikkei jumps in, getting the bash out oh. with the Chronosphere onto the Morphling. Makoto onto the back line. He goes as Nisha's working pretty up, well, but he gets off his Rolling Thunder. 23 Savage getting controlled. I think that was the the, the Wind Waker yeah. used on him. As Boxy now attempting to run Makoto away, but lost Makoto. Does have tons of remnants back. Like you said, his Nullify applied to 23 oh. Savage. There he goes, Makoto, he instantly gets hacked into the Swashbuckle. Nisha trying to get some damage applied to him, but finally BKB comes out as the Void oh looks oh to be God. dead. So many remnants to work with for Makoto. Zai? Buybacks galore for Liquid. Zai takes a tumble, has the buyback still intact. They're not even close to killing 23 in a Chrono, because with the Shard, he can just... He can just morph up. He has 658 armor on this Morphling. Yeah, but Nisha can swashbuckle every three seconds, it feels like. Yeah. Continuing to get bashes every time. Gaben Disgusting. is smiling upon him right now. Range Rax is dead. Of course, just losing one Rax is not that big of a deal. His initiation from Q is completely stopping his track. As oh. jumping in as well. The Chrono, the Chrono Spear onto three. They're going to be able to kill the Tiny, but the Eon this procs on the two Darkseer jabs. Trying to get some help from 23 Savage. Finally turns into the Void. Trying to take out Insaney, but another Holy prop. shit, 23! Mickey taking so much damage, the false promises right there, right outside the pan, he should be able to live as a result. And 23 Savage, Nisha getting his second ult off, it looks like. Swashbuck on the other side of the wall as he's pursued, and he's blocked it oh, he's got by to 23 buyback. Savage, a huge slight, and Nisha dead for two full minutes. But into the Holy damage, shit! 23 Savage goes! He's controlled for the time being, but he used the timeout again. A lot of damage back, his boxy still gonna live some way, somehow. And 23 Savage time walks back to the tier three. A nice toss back. Zai being brought back into the fray as Makoto pops his BKB. 23 Savage, he doesn't prematurely. care. The, you can see their base is actually dying on the other side as well, but it's just to creep Zyde. most of the focus here from the side of Talon on these buildings. And you can see Zai's been pushing. Being on the other side, how close is he? If the Ancient is fully exposed. Can they outpush oh, the, the Brood? Oh, the TP! Brood the cancels of the TP! The cancels of the TPs! Can they kill oh the Ancient? Oh my god! No way! Hello? Talon, you better be careful because Zai is coming for your bait! Whoa! And he's win game four! What? <laughs> oh my goodness! Are you serious? He has zero reaction! <laughs> he is completely is dead, dead inside! inside. He just won Liquid game number three, and they stay in the upper bracket. Holy shit. Oh my god. This guy is disgusting. What the hell, dude? He legit just pulled his entire team on his backpack. In this oh entire... What? How? How? How do you win that game? Unbelievable. Holy Everybody's shit. Everybody's super excited, except for Zai and Talon, obviously. That was absolutely heartbreaking but of course i mean they're going to the lower bracket so it's not over for them but man what, what a crazy ass what series. a sick game from both teams this is a tough loss for yeah. talent but they should still be happy with how they play damn damn they're looking good as zai this guy's illegal as oh my man yeah that's again not elimination holy damn but needs, my heart. needing my some heart moral rate. support that is the craziest game of the Riyadh Masters for sure. As you can see the handshake coming out, both teams respecting each other very much. And Liquid, they're gonna continue on the upper bracket as hey, both these teams deserve to win that game, I feel like, my goodness. Well, what, a what a series this was. Um, if you're Talon, you must hate Zai right now because this guy, he was the absolute yeah. bane of this entire game. All right, first things first, can we get some noise in the audience right now for that game of Dota? What a performance, what a series, Zai. I'll try to piece it together, but boy, was that something to witness. Let's start with game number three. You guys kind of lost control of early game, mid game. Seems that the decision early on was, Broodmother, go be annoying. Go split push constantly. How did you uh, start factoring that into the gameplay? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think we got smashed in lanes. Like, it did not go according to plan. And they were kind of controlling the tempo of the game. Uh, and it seemed like, you know, the only way out is to, to try to pressure silence and be annoying and force them to move around and stuff. Uh, so, yeah. زعيم أنا من تيم ليكود كان يتكلم عن وش صار في الجيم الثالث أول شيء لازم نسأله إياه كيف قدروا إنهم يطلعوا من السيتويشن اللي كانوا فيه لأنه الأرلي جيم والميد جيم لهم كان جدا سيء فوش كان الحل الوحيد إنه لازم تخلي برود مدر تروح تسوي سبيرت بوش وبيزعج كل اللي موجودين قد ما يقدر فهذا هو السؤال لكن 
تكلمنا عن انه كيف قدرت انكم تستنتجون الشيء هذا قال صراحه احنا شفنا انه كل اللي انخسروا ولا احد منهم يقدر يسوي شيء فقلنا ما في الحل الوحيد انه خلي برود مدر تسوي شغلها All right second question uh, could you hold your hand out for me keep it Are you kidding me right now? How? It's, it's, it's been like two minutes, so... Oh, two minutes, yeah. Two. Bro, I was only watching it and my heart is racing still. Decision. Two heroes dead without buyback. Is the team like Zai go thrown? I mean, I think to be honest, at multiple points in this game, I felt like my teammates were a bit lost. And uh, was, like, I kind of just tried to instill the attitude in myself that like, they're all muted, you know? And I'm just trying to win the game. And that's kind of... Yeah, even the, the last fight, it's like... Yeah, I don't know. Just for the moment. Seemed like a good idea. Worked out. On the third day, we asked Nazai, "Can we talk about how he decided he could go and do the back door like that? Especially that two of them didn't have any back. They knew they were going to lose the game. It's over. That's it. He said, "Honestly, I didn't say that I couldn't deal with the issue because all of them were lost. They were lost once. So I'm currently trying to think that all of them are muted, and I went on a run and decided to do the back door. I know that the heroes all have the back. I know that they can't do anything. So I said, "Let me try to finish the game, and finally I can do it." I asked you this last time you were on stage, and I'm wondering if the answer has changed. Zai, are you satisfied yet now that you've secured top three? No, of course not. But I, I also feel just like the way this game ended, I feel, I feel pretty bad for, for Talon because I think, I mean, we were beat, to be honest. And like winning this game is like, you know, obviously we get top three, but it's like it's not a satisfying win that way. I think we were pretty, pretty outmatched. So we have to. Can improve uh, for next series and uh, get our heads together and uh, just play better. Uh, but of course, happy with top three. Yeah. And I know that uh, Southeast Asian late game is famous. So is that something that you were trying to avoid consistently? Like you said, this game was kind of lost. It was late game. No, I mean the game plan was also like we don't we don't want to go late against these guys. And you know we got smashed so hard in lanes that we kind of were forced to. Uh, but it wasn't it wasn't part of the plan because their late game is is monstrous. Yeah. سألنا زاي إذا هو كان راضي عن الفوز هذا بعد ما احنا شفناه يوم هزموا جيمنج لاديتر سألناه نفس السؤال هل أنتم راضيين عن الفوز هذا؟ قال صراحة لا احنا إلى الآن ما احنا راضيين خصوصا إنه أنا أحس بشعور سيء جدا تجاه فريق تالون لأنه المفروض إنهم فازوا الجيم هذا احنا عارفين إن كنا خسرانين ومفروض إنه ما فزناه لكن قدرنا إننا نسويها فالشيء هذا كان زي الويك اب كول للفريق إنه يقدرون الآن إنهم يرجعون يحاولون إنهم يستوعبون الشيء اللي ممكن يسوونه في الأيام الجاية خصوصا إنهم الآن ضمنوا التوب 3. Zai, I'll let you go back, celebrate, collect your thoughts. But for one last time, could we get some noise for that amazing game of Dota between Talon and Liquid? Congratulations on the top three results, Zai. Can't wait to see how you do on the last day.